Hi, it's Miss Amy again, and it is game time. It's time for our review game from our November lesson. And this month we are going to play Name That Cereal. And so it's kind of like the candy bar game, but we're gonna name cereal if you get the um, question correct. And here's our example, our practice round. Does anybody know what cereal that is? Corn Pops. If you said Corn Pops, you were right. All right, so that's how it's gonna work. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. If you get it right, you get to name that cereal. So the first question I want to ask you is, do you remember where in the Bible our Bible lesson came from? I told you a certain book in the Bible, and if you were paying close attention, I bet you'd know what it is. Anybody know? You're right. It's 2 Kings, and 2 Kings has kings in it. That's how you can remember. And if you have a Bible of your own, you can look for 2 Kings chapters 6 and 7, and you can read this story yourself. So Anybody know what this cereal is since you got that right? All right, let's see if you're right. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, if that's what you said, you got it. All right, in 2 Kings, uh, we, we heard about a city and it was surrounded by what? Does anybody remember what was around the edges of the city? Did you say a wall with gates? You are correct. All right, what cereal do you think this is? Get it carefully. Cheerios. That was a pretty easy one, wasn't it? Okay, well, around the city there were walls, and enemies came outside of the walls of the city, and the people inside were trapped, weren't they? They couldn't get food, and they were starving, and the king started to blame someone. Who did he blame? Does anybody remember who this man was, who the king was blaming for this uh, famine that was taking place? Did you say Elisha? You are right. Very good. Elisha was God's prophet, and the king knew that God was allowing this to happen, so he was blaming Elisha. All right, what kind of cereal do you think that is? Look real close. You're right. Frosted Flakes. You got it. Okay, so the king went to Elisha, and he was going to kill Elisha. Remember that? And Elisha said uh, to his messenger and to the king, he said, Tomorrow you're going to have enough food. It's going to sell at the city gate for a fine price. You're going to have enough tomorrow. And the officer didn't believe him. And so what did Elisha tell the officer that was going to happen to him? Remember? Yes, that's right. He said, Elisha told the king's royal officer, you will see the food with your own eyes, but you're not going to be able to eat any of it. Remember that? All right, next cereal. There it is. What do you think? Yes, you're right. It is Fruit Loops. You got it. Okay, next question. So remember, outside the city, there were some lepers. They were men who had a disease called leprosy, and they couldn't come in the city, and they were starving. And so they decided to go out to the enemy and surrender and see if they could get some food and get some help. And when they went out to the enemy camp, what did they find? That's right, they found nothing, right? They found nobody, they found stuff, but no people. They found that all the people, all the enemies had fled. They had heard a noise, and it was actually a noise that God had made, and they thought it was the enemies coming, and they ran away. And so they left all their stuff there, but there were no people, nobody was there. Good answer. Okay, what kind of cereal do you think that is? Captain Crunch, that's one of my favorites. That's a good one. Okay, so, the lepers went out. They see that there's no enemy there anymore, but there is food. There are tents with food and clothes and silver and gold and all kinds of stuff. Remember that? And so they start gathering it all and hiding it and gathering more and eating and drinking and having a great time. And then they think, oh yeah, the people back in the city, they're still starving. They don't know about this good news that we have found. And so we should do right. We should go tell them. So they went and told at the city gates that the People went and told the king, and it was the middle of the night. And at first, what did the king say? This is a tricky question. Does anybody remember? Yeah, he didn't believe them. You're right. He said, I bet that the enemies are out hiding behind the bushes, and then when we come out because their camp is empty, they're going to attack us. But then he eventually sent people out to sea, and sure enough, it was, it was uh, empty camps. The, the enemies had fled. God had caused them to hear something that they thought was the enemy, and they had run. God had rescued the people who were trapped inside that city. And so when that happened, everybody flooded out to get the food. And what happened to the 
royal officer that Elisha had told, you're gonna see the food, but you're not gonna get any. What happened to him? You're right. He got trampled at the city gate, didn't he? He was out there trying to sell some of the food and the people in their excitement trampled him and he died, just like Elisha said. You were listening. All right, here's the next cereal. I bet some of you have eaten that one. It is Lucky Charms. Okay, so in our story, I wanted you to remember a couple of things. One was that God takes care of us even when we don't realize what he's doing. Even when we can't see it, we know that God's at work. I also want you to remember that, that just like the lepers had good news and they went and shared it, we have good news to share. And what's the good news that we have to share? Yes, you're right. The good news that Jesus came to earth and lived a perfect life and he died on the cross to pay the punishment for our sins so we can be forgiven. We need to share that good news just like the lepers shared the good news about that there was food and things for them outside the camp or outside the city in the camp. All right, what's that one? Anybody know? Life. I don't, I don't eat that one very often, but maybe some of you do, and so you recognized it. All right, you guys did a good job with that game. I'm glad you've been listening, and next month we're going to have a new Bible story, and it's going to be a Christmas story, so make sure you come back and hear that one. I'll see you then. Bye.